what this man has against women. I used to like him before, but now, with this thing that he said, I am highly disappointed in this guy. This guy over here. I am highly, can you see his face? I am highly, highly disappointed in him. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's a full here in the building. Hope you're doing great. So this issue has been worrying my mind. I could not sleep for days because of this particular guy. What he wrote. This guy is a comedian based in America. His name is Speed Darling. Ape. They call him Ape. You know the meaning of Ape? Scorpion. This guy just beats women. As he's a scorpion, he just beats women in the heart. So, this guy said, look at what he, he said. Let me read it a bit. Let me summarize it. He said, Niger girls, do you know that if I bring you to USA as my wife and somehow cheat on you, or beat you or raise my voice, or treat you with immigration, you will actually get your own green card by telling of me. Imagine. So, in your mind, you are a woman beater. That is why you are talking of, if I beat you, if I cheat, you are a cheat. Why must you cheat on her? So, you just got home and married her for what? To stay apart? How can your mindset be on this thing? And this is what has been affecting a lot of men. You will want to get married and have children. You will go home, marry a woman. It's not to bring her over here. To stay together as a family. You will leave her in Nigeria. Some people will even advise you. Oh, don't bring her. If you bring her, she's going to uh, report you. you will... If you treat your wife well, why will she report you? If you don't cheat on her, why will she fight? Why will she question you that will result you to be angry and beat her up? Eh? I'm just tired of all these Mongo Park women. <laughs> no, Mongo Park men, not women. Always thinking like poor retarded people. Eh? How can this guy just open his mouth? Wah! And say all these sort of things. Discouraging. Speed darling. Balo go go. How can money balo go go? So he went on to say that um, now tell me why would I bring a woman to America knowing this option available to her some guys are so stupid and dumb you keep you keep her back home ship things to her go see her have people watch her without her knowing that knowing that that way your value forever is maintained she always see you as big shot the moment you bring her she's equal now the guy cannot even write correct English the one that paid me most is this one that he said uh, keep her home have people watch her without her knowledge, her knowledge. Can you imagine? So you marry her, keep her home. You send somebody to be monitoring her, pay the person money. Then you not be sending enough money for her to feed and take care of the children. You'll be monitoring her. Then who is monitoring you? You'll be over here. Over in Europe or America or, or Canada, anywhere. You'll be there, living with women, doing whatever thing you like to do. Then you now be spying on her, send somebody to monitor her. Then if the person uh, um, mistakenly... Um, misjudge her or, or saw her with someone maybe it's a relative or something else you expect her to tell you if she doesn't tell you you will not accuse her of anybody you know you accuse her of adultery the next thing you will go home and you will throw her out take her kids from her if she already have kids this is using you're just using women it's very bad that's why women you guys should be careful before you venture into uh, marrying someone living abroad a stranger that you don't know what he's doing over here or how the kind of person he is you have to be strong before you before you go into this parents be careful Bling, bling, bling from USA, from this, from Canada. It's not always like that. All that glitters are not gold. You have to be strong to venture there. So if they didn't bring you here, you will survive in, in, in Africa with your kids. And you have to be very careful because many of them are sending people spying on you. They will bring a lot of different people you have not even seen to be tempting you. So that they will hold evidence. They will use and send you packing. After you have, they have finished using you, maybe you collect, they will collect all the kids you have, you have for them and bring those kids here. You will be... Just because you know you have finished sampling so many girls that live wherever you are living. You decide to come home to marry a well trained home girl who the eyes have not opened. You promise her heaven and earth. I will take you abroad. I will do this for you. I will do that for you. You will not do any of it. Even if you finally did and she gets here. It's God that is because God is with her and God has said that she will come here. Do you know how many, how many people have tried to bring their wife here for years? Spending money. It didn't work. But some people just come. The woman is out. Then when she gets over here, you want to hide her in the house. Keep her in the house. There was even one that... Um, whenever the woman annoys him, he will send her to the corridor, close the door. She will be in the cold in the corridor for like hours. She will be there begging the man. The man will keep her there. All this is to intimidate them. Then why go home and go marry them? Why not find a wife here? There are so many beautiful, educated, um, exposed girls in Canada, America. Even the ones, they born there. Citizens. They born them there and they grow up there. Just go to one of them, make friends with them, get married to them. It will even save you a lot of expenses. Coming to Nigeria, doing this, doing that. You just send your people to go and pay her bride price. You don't even need to go to Nigeria. But if you have the money, you take her to Nigeria, you go and wait her. 
Then you won't do that because you are scared. Because you know yourself that you are a violent person. You are hot tempered. You don't want to control yourself. You know that you are a woman beater. That is why you will go home to mind the one you will intimidate. Then you will you will decide to leave her there. You'll be doing her like this. So she will stay there. And you will not even be sending her enough money. You will not even let her work or open a business. You want to keep her home. Whenever the child is grown, you go home and give her another belly. She will just be baby making machine for you. At the end of the day, you will now forge something and accuse her. And send her packing. Collect all the children from her and give to your family to take care of. Do you think your family even care to take care of those children? What they care is the money you'll be sending to them. The money you couldn't send to your wife to take care of your kids. You'll not be sending it to your family. They'll be eating it. While your children are in serious denial. You will deny them their mother and everything. Speak darling. Stop. Um, <laughs> just stop stop manipulating uh, men that have correct sense. That know the value of staying together with their family. Stop it. It's not good. It's not good at all. You are just sowing seed, seed of... of, of, of of, of, we are just sowing a um, seed of irresponsibility in the men, in the upcoming generation who have the mind to go home and marry from their place and bring them over. It's even happening a lot of families when their, their, their daughter come over here, with time, they will start working. If the married man will get sense, they will support their family members. They've already paid their due by marrying you, coming over here, having your children. Then you let her, let her work. She will support you. And you should also allow her to support her family members. Her mom, her dad, her, her siblings. The price she has to pay is getting married to a stranger who she doesn't even know. And coming over here. Some of them are lucky to, uh, their old time boyfriend will come home and look for them. And marry them. Maybe take a, you have been friends with him. He will remember you and come home. That one is even better. That is somebody that you have been in relationship with in the past years. But he might still change. As soon as he gets over here, he might have changed. He might not be the same person you knew way back in, in the Africa. So this Pete Darling, I don't know what he's trying to, to cause. He just want to... Okay, for him, he preferred that all women should be kept in Nigeria. You should just send her things, go visit her, um, leave her there, send people to monitor her. Why is he scared that if he brings her over here, that if I beat you, if I cheat on you, if I, if I do this, you are going to, to do this and they will give you paper. This kind of this kind of a guy, I don't know. I don't even he's not even my type. If this kind of guy comes from abroad, with the way he, he do nye, 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 nye. I will not even I will not even agree to date him not to talk of marrying this kind of a person. Yes, you have to be very careful. You have to pray. Find uh, men, find women wherever you are. Find them. Stop uh, um going home to carry imported wives, and you and she will come here and you will intimidate her, saying that you have sense. And if she doesn't obey you, you will start looking for a way to deport her back to the country. If, if, if she doesn't want to go, she will become a disobedient wife. She's also a human being. There is level of tolerance. Please, I don't want this video to be long. Thanks for watching. And what do you think about this speed, darling? I will put it to... Please, guys, tell me in the comment section what you think about what speed, darling said. Do you think uh, he's saying the truth? Yeah, I know that there are some women that uh, their aim is just to go abroad. And when they get abroad, they, without any the man doing them anything, they will just dump the man and find uh, their choice, leave their man. Yeah, it happens. But um, it's few women that will do that. Even you that want to get married, you must have asked her family members, her relatives, you must have asked after her how she grew up, the kind of person she is, ambitious, everything, and know whether it's the kind of person you are going to bring abroad. If she's not the kind of person you bring abroad, don't even marry her. What's the need of marrying her and keeping her in Nigeria or in Africa? Because if you keep her there, she... Her being somebody that is not responsible, she will find other men to keep her warm until you get back. But if she's someone that you see that is, that is that you know what, know what she wants, you can bring her over here. Be good to her. Be good to her. It doesn't matter if the if the country you are, they say that men and women are equal. Forget that. Women still have respect. The way they were trained, they have respect for their man. And the Bible said that man is the head of the family. But where the problem starts is when you start maltreating her, you carrying women up and down. Um and beating her or anything that's the only thing that will make her to change and become something else because she's tired of uh, tolerating so many things even if you are living in nigeria you marry someone and you are doing those things to her she'll still change so why, why would abroad make her to stay calm and take all those things you are doing to her one day she's gonna bust she's gonna open her eyes some friends are gonna advise her this thing you are not happy here just leave this man or report this man so take her well and you people will live happily ever after so what do you guys think is he correct? Is his sense correct? Me, I don't think, I don't support anything he said in that thing. And he should be cautioned. Someone should caution him. So, let me not run too much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And keep your notification on. And uh, have a blessed day till we see next video. My next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon.